Family members of five people killed in a crash a decade ago have returned to Taylor University. That crash 10 years ago made national headlines after a case of mistaken identity when first responders confused who the two women involved were. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker visited campus today. Well, every year on April 26th, the folks here at Taylor University hold a service of remembrance in hope inside this chapel here, and that's what they're doing right now. They are marking the anniversary of the five lives that were lost here from the Taylor family. And this year's anniversary seems even more poignant as the folks who are here today that were there back then realize it's been 10 years since that life-changing night. Do you University students gathered to remember those killed in a crash that happened when many of them here were still in grade school. For those that were here the night, four students and a Taylor University employee lost their lives along Interstate 69, sometimes 10 years, seemed like yesterday. Well, I don't think it's possible to go through something like that and not have a completely impact your life. Jim Geringer was director of communications for the university at the time and still is now. As we think back to that night and the phone calls and each subsequent phone call uh, during which the news got worse and worse and we began to realize just the the profound nature of the loss we were dealing with. Students Brad Larson, Laurel Erb, Betsy Smith, Lauren Van Ryn, and employee Monica Felver were all killed when a semi crossed the median on I-69 and hit the van they were traveling in back to school from Fort Wayne. In the chaos at the scene, though, emergency crews mixed up the identities of Lauren Van Ryn and another Taylor student who had been in the van, Whitney Sarek. It would be five weeks before the Van Ryn family realized Laura had been killed in the crash that night, and the bandaged girl whose bedside they held vigil at was really Whitney Sarek. I mean, there was certainly this sense of joy on behalf of the Sarek family that they were getting their daughter back. At the same time, you know, what in the world can you say on behalf of the Van Rines? The words didn't come easily, and neither has the healing these past 10 years. This chapel was built in memory of the victims. White crosses still mark the scene of the crash that changed so many lives. Each of us as we consider it, have a dividing line. There was that time in our, in our lives before April the 26th, 2006, and the time since then. And Whitney Sarek Wheeler, who survived that crash and is now married with three children and lives in Virginia, will be here tomorrow uh, to speak for the first time since her graduation. It promises to be a powerful testimony about coming through such a life-changing experience. Back to you.